Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Tired. Tired. <laughs> it was a difficult day. I guess. Oh no, yes. These days are very difficult, very hard. Yes, a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> I know, I understand. Okay. Well, tonight we are only three ladies in the class. <laughs> okay, let's wait for the others to join. Maybe, okay. maybe they are still having dinner. <laughs> okay, Miss Kenya, why are you so tired? Um, I wake up at um, 40. At 4. Okay. A.M. Okay. That's early. Yeah. And then? Um, in the office. All day. All day. What time did you get to the office? Uh, today, uh, 5 30. At 5 30. Oh. Really? See? <laughs> Why so early? Uh, uh, because my class. Oh, you received classes before they start working. Yeah. Yes. Mm, that's a good idea. <laughs> you go to the office because there's no interruption. No. Exactly. No. That's very smart. <laughs> is, hmm, sí. Thinking. That's really okay. cool. So you sí. receive classes from six? Uh, six. Sí. Sí. From six until eight? Se no. 7.30. 7.20. 7.20. Okay, it's one hour and 20 minutes. Yes. And the class is virtual. Yes. That's great. That's good. Wow. And then you have classes in the afternoon again or just in the morning? No, in the afternoon too. Again. Yeah. Wow. What yeah. time do you have classes in the afternoon? Uh, four. At four. So you yes. finish working at four and then you receive classes. Virtual yes. again. <laughs> sí, ah. You are connected all day. Yes, all day. My goodness. I see. I see why you're so tired. <laughs> <laughs> but do you live near the office or you have to travel to the office? Near. Near. Ten minutes then. Ten minutes from the office. Yes. By car. Yes. Driving. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because early in the morning is kind of dangerous. No. Not really. No. It's safe. Sí. Very okay, good. That's great. Congratulations. Thanks. That's the women power. <laughs> hard working okay bastante I, yes i like it actually i love it i love it when the when the women you know continue preparing continue studying because i mean we never finish learning when we die then it's the end of the story but if you are alive you keep learning there's always something new to learn I love that because now there's, I mean, there are so many possibilities since we have technology, since we have online classes, since we have videos, since we have a lot of resources online. So there are many possibilities. Yeah. So that is really, really great. Thank you for sharing that. That is really great news. <laughs> okay. You. Now we have more people getting connected. I always wonder what happened to Miss Joanna. She always has like this kind of connecting the audio, but she never connects. I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, something, something bad probably with the with the internet. Maybe Miss Joanna can write on the on the chat so that we can know something about her. Maybe if she listens to us. Okay. Hey, Miss Jacqueline, Miss Tatiana, welcome. How are you? How was your day? What did you do? <laughs> Too many questions, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Hello. Good Hello. evening, teacher. Good evening. With uh, Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah. With a little uh, headache. It was a hard uh, day. It was a what? little bit hard. It was a hard day, a difficult day. Yes, a uh, um, too hard work. Too much work. It was so hard. I am, I am, see, I am teacher at uh, kindergarten. No way. Really? <laughs> yeah. I worked in a kindergarten for five years when I started my teaching career. And I enjoyed the experience, but after five years, I say, oh my God, I, I don't think I would have energy to run behind these little kids all my life. So <laughs> I started teaching I have, other people. <laughs> I, have, I have kinder, kinder four. Kinder four. Children. Oh kinder my four. God. And how many children? <laughs> Is <laughs> yeah, I know. It, se siente como que está en un panal, literally. I me tomó como un mes acostumbrarme. <laughs> like what? <laughs> this is so noisy. How many children do you have? I mean, I mean, how many children are you taking care of in Kinder Four? Twenty Cuesta. children. Cuesta. Twenty-five <laughs> children. Seventeen. Twenty. Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. 25. Oh my God, that is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. And where is the kindergarten? Uh, I can't know this. Mm. And they go, they go to the kindergarten in person. The in school. In a school. In school. So no virtual class. What virtual? Not virtual, only in person. Ah, uh, is is presence. presence. In person. In person. In person. Okay. Uh, wow. No, ahorita no están virtuales. Ya no, right? Not anymore. No, ya no. In person. <laughs> <laughs> More difficult. Yeah. Sí, well, sí. different kind of difficulties. Okay, Mr. Diana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, good. Good. Nice. Yes. All relaxed. Uh, más o menos. So so. <laughs> A little. So, so. Okay. Yes. Do you have children? No. No children. Okay. So no. you you relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice, Miss Nidia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, hi, fine. I saw it's saucy. Exhausting. Yes. So much work um, too. Yes, uh, just say, come and say, uh, a word new. Sounds like a city. Oh my god, you're traveling. Yeah. Traveling just every day. Yeah, traffic. Here I am, here I am, yes, ready, ready yes. to learn. Nice. Okay. Somebody else, Miss Jami, good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very tired, too. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Yeah, I'm happy to receive a class with, with yours. Nice, thank you. That's great, welcome. Yes, okay, we have so many more people here in the class. That's great, we hope we could see you. But let's get started. Let's definitely get started. Give me just one second. I just need to confirm I'm clicking on the right uh, window. 
we're gonna get this um exercise yes here we go i'm gonna share the screen first let's see yes this is our class number 12 right our class number 12 let me just get to the full screen so on this class definitely we're going to continue narrating past events using irregular verse that's going to be a good practice then use negative affirmative negative sentence as well as asking yes no questions with wh in past simple simple past which is the same all right and to start with, let me just share something else. Because I got something right here. And here we go. This is a practice, okay? Let's practice the irregular verb, okay? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. sang is in past. What is the present? Sing. 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 Exactly. All right. Very attentive. Made. Is the past. Make. Make. Eh, right. When? Go. 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 Go to. Okay. I went to the park. I go to the park, right? Think. 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 All right. Found. Find. 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 Uh -huh. I found the love. <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> Built. Only the letter D changes for the letter D in class. Build. Win. 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 Teacher. Yes. Please. Thank you. Thank you for the request. Yes. That's very kind of you. Okay. Matt. Meet. 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 Exactly. Meet. I met somebody. They sold. Sell. 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 Exactly. I sold my car. <laughs> Told. Tell. 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 She told Tell. me the secret. Tried. Try. 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 I try and I try and I try. You say I try so many times. But buy. Buy. Exactly. Oh, I bought something nice today, actually. <laughs> Run. 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 Uh-huh. So C. C. I C. saw you. <laughs> okay. That's very common. People say, I saw you. Drank. Drink. 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 Exactly. Spent. 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 Right? Only the last letter changes. Mm -hmm. Hot. Teach. 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 Yeah, you say, oh, I taught that topic. Oh, she taught us that topic. Gave? Give. 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 Oh, <laughs> nice. She gave me the answer. Took? Take. Take. <laughs> yes, you took that apple and had, of course, have. 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 We had a wonderful day. Ooh, nice. Okay, wonderful. As I was mentioning, um, yeah, this is our class number 12, which is really awesome. Now give me a second. I was just sharing. So narrate past events using regular verse. And we are going to 
apply this vocabulary to describe our day. Uh -huh. We already had a little practice with one of your classmates <laughs> who was telling us about her day. She got up at four, then she went to the office. Imagine she got to the office at 5.30 in the morning. Well, my day was a little bit different. I got up at, uh, ideally, I will have to get up at five, but I set my alarm at 5.30. Then I usually get up uh, a quarter to six or at six. Then I have to run. Well, I usually have to run, but today I had to run more than ever to get ready, then to leave to the, to the office. And then I got to the office before eight. And of course, I got there and I had to teach for well, about four hours, well, two hours. And then I went to do something else and I had a meeting, then I went back teaching and so on and so on. Then I came back home, I drove back home and I got here, I had dinner, then I rested a little bit, then I have this class, so it's my day. That's kind of my day. But these are the words that you can use, okay, in past. Got up, took a shower. Yes, I took a shower. I, I forgot to mention it, but I did. Yes, I took a shower. I had breakfast. Well, I had breakfast while I was driving. I usually drive and have breakfast. I know it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's not really recommended, but that's the way I do it. But if, it's because if I'm only driving, I feel that I'm wasting my time because I say, oh, I could be doing something else. I'm just, you know, in traffic, doing nothing, I feel. So I usually take advantage and while I'm driving, I have breakfast. So I had breakfast while I was driving today. Of course, I didn't read the newspaper. Probably, actually today I haven't read not even uh, social media news. Sometimes I do, I read the news on the, on the social media, but I don't read the newspaper anymore. I didn't do any exercise. <laughs> Probably the only exercise I did is because I went shopping for something I needed at, at my work, but then no more exercise. I ate lunch. Yes, I ate lunch at the office with my colleagues. I didn't drive to the supermarket, but I drove to work and I drove back from work. I didn't buy any groceries, but I bought a nice cup for my coffee that it says keep calm and eat cupcakes so i usually like this kind of souvenirs or stuff that are that have something in english so you know i'm crazy about english i didn't make dinner i bought some <laughs> some snacks for dinner well let's say typical food i bought some pupusas and some pastelitos for dinner i didn't write any letter but i answered some emails I didn't see a movie, probably, well, I haven't, well, yeah, I saw just a video probably on YouTube and I haven't gone to sleep yet because I'm teaching, <laughs> all right? So this is what you're gonna use, this vocabulary to narrate your day. How was your day, okay? Is that clear? Yes? Thumbs Sorry, up? teacher. Oh, got it. Sure. All right. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, what's the meaning? And in the no, number eight, mm -hmm. uh, groceries. But groceries, groceries, generalmente se refiere a como cosas de comida, cosas para la. O sea, como se dice, I I I bought groceries. When you go to the supermarket, you buy food like cookies, nachos, spaghetti, uh, beans rice those are groceries for the house what you usually yes what you usually buy cereal right <laughs> okay, thank you teacher. Uh, no problem anything else no more so no son groserias right so groceries are usually that 
<laughs> yeah, I know we usually try to relate, but in this case, it's a false cognate. That's what we call. Cuando las palabras eh, aparecen y significan lo mismo, son true cognates. Por ejemplo, hospital es hospital. Hotel es hotel. Pero cuando suenan igual, pero es otra cosa, eso es un false cognate. O sea, que son cognados, pero falsos. Yes. No, no tendría que decir golosina. Podría ser snacks, pero los groceries no ah. necesariamente son snacks o chips. Podrían ser ya cosas como para preparar comida, azúcar, arroz, sugar, rice, milk, cereal. Ya, yeah. esos son groceries. All right, good. De hecho, hay grocery stores. No necesariamente tienen que ir al supermarket. Probably you can buy in the store or the little shop. We say la niña Rosita's shop. <laughs> we say, you know, the store that we have in the in the neighborhood, right? The, oh, I need some groceries, so I'm going to the store. I'm going to the shop to buy something to make dinner or something I am missing at home, right? Okay, I'm going to, uh, voy a poner en groups of three para que le cuenten cómo estuvo su día, cuáles de esas actividades se hicieron, cuáles no. Pero try to incorporate more vocabulary. Ustedes ahí créansela. You know, you sound very fluent in English. You sound very convincing and describing your day. You had a good day. You had a wonderful day. Or your day was kind of busy, kind of tired. And lo más que puedan, incorporen este vocabulary. Si la hicieron, pues qué cool. Ten algunos detalles. Si no hicieron alguna de estas activities, pues expliquen. Like, I didn't, I didn't have lunch. I didn't have time, for example, like yesterday. I didn't have lunch because I drove my my brother with my nephew from Hospital Bloom to the terminal, so I couldn't, I didn't have time to have lunch. So explain a little bit more, right? Clear, clear, clear? Yes? Great. Got time, it. Time to yes. talk. Yes. Yes, thank you. Let me see. Groups of three. Uh -huh. Yes, my math are not very bad. I will make six groups and they should be out of three. There we go. Teacher, yes, tell me. Las eh, formas en que puedo preguntar cómo estuvo tu día, una es how was your day, ¿verdad? Exactly. Otra, what did you do? How was it? Solo es como omitir el your day uh, for it, ¿verdad? Yes, porque uh, ya sabemos de qué estamos hablando. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, tell me y... about your day. How I, quiero ver, no, pero había otra forma. How was you, se me ha ido. How was bueno, your day? Bien. Tell me about your day. How uh -huh. did it go? Ah, ok. Yeah. Any of those. Thank you. Problems. All right. Ok. Bueno, eh, Maritza, si quiere me comenta. Entonces, how was your day? Okay. Um, I uh, got up at 
6 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, after took a shower and had breakfast. I, I didn't read the next paper. I never read the next paper. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did an exercise. Um, um, after going to my work, um, we um, uh, compartir. <laughs> Sería a ti. Uh, ajá. Eh, bueno, ¿Qué, eh, ¿qué, vos, ¿qué, ¿qué comparte o quiere decir? Eh, no sé, algunas conversaciones quizás serían, ¿verdad? Conversation ah. with my, with mm. my co-workers. Mm -hmm. And the next, I ate lunch, I a store, eh, pero es un mini market. Ah, con tu brown groceries y a uh, mi diner a uh, eh, pupusas. En clase de inglés. Y, um, y let's bueno fue to sleep más moro vea solamente quizá ahora la otra cosa sorry take a shower a shower yes ajá después Uh, breakfast, desayuné, ¿verdad? Tú, tú de eight o'clock, así. Luego, luego, activities at home. Uh -huh. Dice la, no sé cómo se pone. Dice la actividad de la casa, ¿verdad? I did housework. I did housework. ¿Cómo, teacher? I did housework. Did house. Es como dice oficios. Uh -huh. well, I, uh -huh. did, I did housework. Okay. Y... Creo que eso sería todo. Eh, ¿Tú eres Edith o Wendy? Edith. Ok, Wendy, tus actividades. Es de... Grab. 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 ¿Cuál, perdón? La siete, Brown. Brown de supermercado. Ah, you draw to the supermarket. Another one. Ella no. Buen día. No, no hay problema. Entonces va, ajá, hágalo. Ah. Um, I work um, I, a lot of um, very, very uh, stressful in all day. Um, regresó a su casa. Regre Ajá, regresó a mi casa. Um, Y 
cuando ella regresó a su casa, ¿qué hizo? I take, um, I take a shower. Um, mm, es que no, como que a la hora de hablar, como que no sé. Si gustan, pasen ustedes. No, no se preocupe, Ana. Sí, le entiendo todo lo que me está diciendo. De, de sus pero, o sea que sí. estoy, eh, debería de serlo en pasado eh, no, eh, sí, correcto vale, por lo menos hay donde dice que tomó la ducha tuvo que haber sido Aituk, porque usted dijo Aitec pero es Aituk a Chau usted, o sea, tomó usted la ducha. corríname Aituk a Chau no, no, no puedo corregir porque todos estamos aprendiendo pero no estamos no, entrando. pero entonces, entonces no, si usted lo sabe, dígalo porque al momento de hablar a usted se le olvida y nosotros le vamos a ayudar en lo que podamos usted está narrando su leyenda Claro. Ahí le falté. I come back to my house after the work. Eh, I, I, ¿qué? Eh, I, ¿Cómo se dice? I saw my, my husband. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Ah? Mi cena o tomar mi cena también. Ajá. Ok. Dinner. Dinner, ajá. No he cenado hasta el momento. Ah, nos va a enfermar y ya no vamos a practicar con usted. Si gusta. También. Ajá. Bueno. En, en did work every every toda la tarde sería como se afternoon all the all afternoon yes and be, Because, para regresar a casa, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? I came back home. I came by, back home and ate my, my dinner and watched television and take my English class. That's okay, all. good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next. Uh, next, Jacqueline, no sé si está. Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Oh, sí, aquí está. How was How? your day? Estoy Jacqueline. Bien. El siguiente es made dinner. Made dinner. Eh, wrote dinner. a letter. Wrote a letter. a letter. El siguiente es saw a movie. Saw a movie. Saw a movie. He went to sleep. Went, went to sleep. To sleep. To sleep, no se pronuncia la R, no se pronuncia con E al principio, es de un solo desde la S. Sleep. Sleep. Went to sleep. Ajá. No sé si tienen alguna. No sé, la otra compañera ya no, ya no dijo nada. Da, da Maris, te vas a saber. Ajá. Ajá, sí. No tengo muy buena señal. Se le perdió la señal. All right, did you finish? How was your day? Tell us. Hi, did teacher. You, hey, did you have a good day? 
kind of. <laughs> In my case, it was a very difficult day because yeah. I had some meetings and I finished with a headache. I imagine. <laughs> but finally, after uh, I finished my my day, I went to the gym and not, right now I'm feeling good. Oh yeah, that makes you relax. Yes, a yeah, lot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. All right. How was the practice? Did you narrate your day? Did you talk about your day? Did you describe your day? Did you explain about your day? Yes? Thumbs up? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Great. Okay, awesome. That's a good practice, actually. Every time you finish a day, you start by narrating the activities that you did during the day, trying to use the verbs in past, okay? You say, oh, what did I do today? Let's see. I got up at this time, then I did this, then I did that. So you start narrating and you're going to see that you're going to have the necessity to use all the verbs in past, right? So then you're going to start saying, oh, ¿cómo es que se decía tal cosa en pasado? So you start looking, okay? So sometimes it's easier if you have, of course, if you have internet. I'm sorry about people sneezing here in my house, okay? <laughs> All right, it's easy because if you forget something, you ask Mr. Google, and now that you have a smartphone, there's no excuses. You just say, what was the past of go? And then Google says, went. <laughs> what well, is the past of take? And then Google says, took. What is the past? But don't depend on Google, only if it is necessary. The other times you try to remember because the idea is to have the vocabulary in mind, right? In our memory, in our hard disk. I know it's kind of hard, but don't just focus on the, on the fact that it is hard. Focus on the fact that it is possible. The more you practice, the easier you're going to remember them, right? So great idea. Let's keep practicing. No problem, okay? Let's see. So we just did this activity, that was cool. So I just have a few questions. Uh, who got up at five? Did anybody get up at five? No, you got up later, you got up earlier. Who got the up five, at five? Yeah. 5.45. 5.45, a quarter to six, all right, almost six. Uh -huh. Nobody got up at five. Earlier, before, before five, got up at six. Nobody. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. Oh, you I got up. I got up. I got up at, at six. Usually <laughs> at six. All right. <laughs> and today I got up at five. All right. <laughs> got up. Some sometimes I uh, get up at five. All right. Great. Everybody took a shower? <laughs> Just, Just wondering, okay. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> ah, because the class is virtually. You say, yes, teacher. Ah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I hope so. Everybody had breakfast? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Actually, breakfast is the most important meal, remember, okay? Because all night your body was asleep, so you need to react okay all your organs so breakfast is real important did anybody read the newspaper not the teacher. No. not no. anymore that's no. old fashioned i went to the news you read the news on the internet yeah. what what uh, the, the oh you watched the news on tv but not read okay yes that's great yeah, some other people uh, usually read the news on Twitter or in social media, right? Who did exercise? I know who did. Somebody already confessed. <laughs> yes, teacher. Oh, nice. 
That's being athletic. Everybody ate lunch? Yes. 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 yes thank God. Thank God. Anybody who drove to the supermarket? No, I no. didn't. Sometimes, teacher. Yeah, but today, did you drive to the supermarket? Not today. No. Anybody brought, I'm sorry, anybody bought groceries? No, yes. I didn't. You didn't? No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't buy groceries either, but I bought some typical food I told you. <laughs> I discovered this new place who sells really good pastelitos, you know? Those are really spicy and tasty. Who made dinner? Yes. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. I yes. bought some. Yes. <laughs> oh, you made it. Yes, teacher. All right, great. Who wrote a letter? No more letters? No, no I didn't. <laughs> no. Okay, no. who saw a movie? <laughs> yes, I did. You did. I had no right. time. Yeah, no time, not enough time to see a movie, right? And sleep, not yet. Nobody has gone to sleep, but probably who took a nap? Did anybody take a nap? No, I couldn't. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> I have a friend, well, a friend and a colleague who can take a nap even if there's an earthquake or a hurricane on him you know sometimes when he's really tired after lunch he says oh, i still have five minutes or oh, i still have 10 minutes and he just goes like this and he's asleep completely even snoring in the office and i'm like wow that's it's like a skill teacher <laughs> exactly that's what i was gonna say that's a skill that's a talent that's a gift he has and then he just wakes up and it's like nothing happens and i'm like wow and you know, he even does it so naturally that now the boss doesn't really get mad because it's the lunch time. So it's the lunch hour and he can divide the, the lunch hour for time to eat and time to sleep. And I say, wow, what an ability. I really admire that. Okay, something challenging, yes. You already talked about the activities you did today. Yes, definitely. Ajá, este es un reto que les traigo. Interesting. <laughs> ¿Quién puede decir Tom Twisters oh. in Spanish? No. <laughs> yes. Ajá. Tom Twisters. Lo mismo que en español, en inglés. Tom Twisters. Traba lengua. Teacher, for me it's difficult in Spanish. Can you imagine in English? <laughs> Por eso dije, es un challenge, ¿ok? Obviously, no lo van a decir ahora perfectly, pero at least lo vamos a practicar. So, los tongue twister definitivamente no tienen que tener sentido. Tienen que tener rima, ¿ok? So, se buscan las palabras que serán bastante parecidas. Entonces, este tongue twister incluye verse in past, right? And says, Peter Piper picked up a pickle, pickle peppers. Con lo que logren decir eso, ya. Oh, oh my God, I got it. Okay. <laughs> so Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Y ahí solo le dan vuelta, ¿verdad? Si se fijan. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Así un poco de lento, ¿verdad? Puede decir más rápido, pero solo para que sepan la pronunciación. Ustedes vayanlo practicando ahí. No importa, no enciendan el micrófono porque si no se va a escuchar una sola. <ríe> una sola. Voy y no vamos a entender nada. Entonces, vaya, lo voy a ir diciendo súper lento. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Esos son los pickled peppers. Pickled peppers. Es cuando ya tenemos los, los chilitos como en, en vinagre, esos pickle peppers. Yes. Hay algunos restaurants que lo venden para ponérselos a los sándwiches. Creo que ya los han visto. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. A peck of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, where's the peck of pickle peppers? Peter Piper picked. Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? 
one more time. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Bad. Don't worry. Si no le sale perfecto, esa no es la idea. La idea es que usted se rete cada vez a decirlo más rápido. Yes? Ahorita se lo voy a compartir y con los partners con quienes estaba lo van a practicar. Yes. <ríe> Let's see. Tenemos por acá a dos personas no assign. Ahorita los assign. Don't worry. Es un montón. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Solo estamos dos ahora. Ahora sí. Bueno, ya la mandó Vaya. la uh -huh. imagen. ¿Lo vemos así? ¿O compartimos? Ah, ahorita lo voy a compartir. Pero... Okay. Ahí está. Lo ve. Ok, sí, sí. Vaya. Uf, está difícil. Entre más rápido, quizás mejor. <risa> Vamos a comenzar lento y así. Va. Ya... Peter Piper Pickle. A peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter. Peter and Pickle, if Peter Piper Pickle, a pack of pickled peppers. Where is the pick of pickled peppers, Peter? Piper Pickle. Wow, excellent. No. Para ser la primera vez lo hizo excelente. Gracias. Prosigan, pues, ustedes. Vaya, ¿quién lo va a hacer, la otra muchacha o...? ¿Cómo se llama la otra muchacha? Marilyn. Marilyn. Ahorita. Peter. Peter Pickett. A pack of pickled peppers. A pet of pickled peppers. Peter. Peter Pickett. It better. Peter Pickett. A pet of pickled peppers. Where is the pack of pickled peppers? Peter. Piper Pickett. Ay, excelente. <risa> excelente. Vale, voy a intentar yo ver. Okay. Vamos a ver okay. si me sale. Peter Piper Pickett. Pickett a pick o pickle peppers. A pick o pickle peppers. Peter Piper Pickett. Ay, Peter Piper Pickett a pick o pickle peppers. Where's the pick o pickle peppers? Peter Piper Pickett. Excelente. Yo ni, ent ni entendí lo que dije, pero bien. Por dos. Me voy a... Y es como pequeñitos detalles en la pronunciación. Peppers. 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 Ajá. Where's the pick of pickles? Peppers, Peter Piper picked. Where's the pick of pickle peppers? Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked. Piper picked. Conté al final. Picked. Peter Piper picked. Vaya, como ya repasaron ahora rápido. <risa> bueno, volvamos desde el principio. Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Pete. Peter Piper, Pete. 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 
a pack of pickled papers. Papers, perdón. Of pickled papers. A pack of pickled papers. Peter Piper picked. A pack of pickled papers. Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked. Me pierdo. Piper picked. Ahorita ya vamos por la mitad. Vamos a comenzar por el if. If Peter Peter Piper. If Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pen. Ajá, acabar para medio entender lo que hace. Eh, lo vamos a hacer un poco más despacio, que creo que lo queremos hacer rápido y no tenemos esa capaci capacidad todavía. Bueno, me toca, ¿verdad? Sí. Dice, Peter Piper pick a pecos, pico paper, peepers, a pico, pico, paper, Peter Piper pico, y Peter Piper pick a pecos, pico, paper, where the picos, picos, paper, Peter Piper pico. Más disponible. ¿Alguien más que quiera practicar? Ya, mi. Hola. Peter Piper. Peter Piper, Pete, Apex, of Piglet, Peters. Apex, of Piglet. Sí. Ahora otra vez usted, compañero. Bueno, vean, vamos. Peter Piper Picket a pet o pickle Piper a pet o pickle Piper Peter Piper Picket. Is Peter Piper Picket a pet in pickle Piper where the peck of pickle Piper Peter Piper Picket. <laughs> Okay. Ya vamos, vamos, ya compañía. Va, vamos, Nidia. Peter, Piper, Picket, a peck of Pickler, Piper. A peck of Pickler, Piper, Peter, Piper, Picket. A Peter, Piper, Picket, a peck of Pickler, Piper. Un nombre bonito va después del nombre, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés no, en inglés va antes. Y como dice que. Ajá, dice de que son en escabeche, por eso es que va antes del peppers, pickled peppers, que son los pepinillos en escabeche. Y picked, eh, esa sí la voy a buscar en el traductor porque no sé qué. Eso sería como recoger, ir a traer, cortar, en este ah. caso. Uh -huh. ah. Picked. Pero verdad que sí, pickled peppers es uh -huh, eh, los pepinillos, pepinillos en esta O podrían ser chiles también, los peppers. Porque, ah, okay. por ejemplo, los chiles que son, ay, ¿cómo es que le dicen? Los, los que son verdecitos, pero no son picosos, sino que son un poco dulces. Que son como redonditos. Ah, he visto uno que le dicen peperoncinis, exactly. que son como aciditos. Ajá, exactly. Son yes. muy buenos, por cierto. Uh -huh. Yes, they're good. <risa> sí. Podrían ser cucumbers, los, los little cucumbers también, los pepinillos o los, o los esos green peppers. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Actually, estamos descifrando todo esto. Ah, sí, por eso les dije. Sí, por eso les dije. Sentido, en realidad los sound twisters no tienen. Solo es un reto de pronunciation. Okay, thank you. Like, good el job. Pec el pe que yo sabía que eran como los picos de los pájaros, pero no, aquí no sé qué es. Ah, no, eso no tiene sentido realmente. Es como un package tal vez. A pack of ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, porque yo había escuchado que lo, los picos de los pájaros... Like the woodpecker. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, incluso el traductor me dice que es picotear. Ajá, uh -huh. por eso se llama woodpecker, el, el pájaro carpintero. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero ahí no okay. tiene sentido. Sí, eso estoy viendo. Solo es para que tenga ajá, el, el, como la misma rima. We finish, okay. don't worry. We come back to the main session, all right? Ok.
Ajá. ¿Cómo nos fue en el challenge? Terrible. Bien chistoso. Funny. It was funny. Yes, we barely that's... could pronounce each word, teacher. Right, it's kind of hard. Yeah, because they they are selected or chosen words to sound very similar with the sound, right? So this is like learning from the very beginning, but it's just a challenge of pronunciation. So, and this way you will, you know, develop the facility of the speaking a little bit more fluent, okay? So just challenge yourself. Probably no lo vamos a lograr con una vez, but we keep practicing, okay? And whenever you want to find a tongue twister, you can look for your tongue twister and challenge yourself to say it. Okay, so Peter Piper picked up a couple of papers. Si logran decir ya esas dos lines, ya, yeah. <laughs> like no. Y cada vez traten de decirlo más rápido, ¿ok? So, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Así de ese, de ese spin lo logran y luego lo van a lograr más y más y más y más, ¿ok? Y después solo le dan vuelta a la oración. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's a peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. ¿Ok? Y lo van a lograr. You can do it. Pero no, no, no piensen de que es too difficult y que nunca lo van a hacer. Don't worry. You can do it. Obviously, no se va a lograr esta noche. But you can keep practicing. Yeah, you le va a quedar. So that you can practice, continue practicing, okay? Great. I had another activity, but because of the time, we still have three minutes, okay? So we still have three minutes. And do you have any question? Just that. Que la otra actividad realmente no, no se, no se las podría hacer en three minutes. Ajá, questions. Questions, escriban dos questions usando did in the chat. Ajá. Teacher. Yes. How do you say trabalenguas in English? Tongue. 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 Como las papas Twist. twister. <ríe> Puedes uh -huh. enrollar la lengua. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. En el chat vamos a escribir two questions usando did you. Como si le estuviéramos preguntando a alguien de la clase. Yes. Did you drink soda today? Yes. Did you see a movie today? Did you play soccer today? No, no necesariamente today. Could be yesterday, but an expression de pasado, ¿verdad? Porque did is a, an auxiliary for the past. Yes. Vamos a ver. Okay, did you have more? Yes, that's great. Empezaron a llegar las questions. Did you have more than three classes today? That's great. Uh -huh. Did you eat dinner today? Did you sleep until eight o'clock? That's cool. All right. Did they study for the exam or did you complete the platform <laughs> did you did you practice english <laughs> yes i did <laughs> okay did you get up early today that's great awesome nice congratulations did you go to the gym did you have oh did you have did you do the laundry did uh -huh, did you do the laundry Es que no he logrado hacerlo, don't worry, ok? We're going to finish here. Keep practicing. And tomorrow le voy a preguntar el ton twist. Ah, mentira. <laughs> Solo el que lo quiera decir. <laughs> All right. So, good night. See you tomorrow. God bless See you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.